Um, you know, there's, there's certain tracks I think just have trophies that hold different meaning, sentimental meaning. And uh, the guitar, you know, when I first got that guitar from Sam Bass, it was such an honor. And, uh, you know, obviously Sam not being with us, it means even more now than it meant then. And, um, you know, I think it, it was like a, a statement to, it reminded me of like a throwback in some ways of how the sport used to do trophies and how the trophies meant something to the town they were in. But then it was also this super artistic piece and um, it's still one of my favorite trophies I have. You know, I, I would put that right up there with anything else in the sport. So. Um, and then having Sam's name attached to it, just now I look back at it and just think I almost feel bad like I took it for granted at the time that uh, you know, I have something that cool, but uh, it's a very special trip. Brad, what's the feeling with RFK right now? You have the 6 and the 17 are both in playoff spots as we start to wind down the regular season. What's the momentum, what's the attitude knowing you guys could try to put both cars in the playoffs? Yeah, I mean, I think it's we got some good vibes going. Chris is on a really big hot streak. Um, you know, he's run really well here the last uh, three or four races, uh, been in contention uh, to win. He won the stage there in the Coke 600 and uh, was, uh, won the part of the All-Star race, whatever that initial thing was called. Um, and uh, you know, really good at Sonoma, so a lot of really great energy uh, there and they're kind of scudding their way up at the points and uh, a lot of excitement there. Been kind of up and down with, with my car, the six car, and uh, felt like we were really strong in Charlotte. And, then maybe not as good as we wanted to be a couple other places here lately. So uh, either way, it's, it's better to be in and uh, than to be out looking in. Uh, but we're not as comfortable as we'd like to be. We'd, we'd like to have wins. You know, that's that's really what the sport's about. We've done a great job, I think, elevating ourselves from irrelevant to relevant. But I don't want to stop there. We, 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 we're, we've got another step to take. Um, and so we're working really hard to, to get that step and to, to put it all together. I know. I'm, I'm working on it every day, um, and, and we're, we're proud of the progress we've made, but um, we need to be winning races. Do you feel like your organization is maybe the most improved from last year? Yeah, I mean, we had a lot of room for improvement, so I don't know if that's something to be proud of or not, but uh, I, I, am, I am thinking we've, we've come a long ways, uh, without a doubt, and, and we've got a real shot of putting both cars in the playoffs, but you know, we, we've got, uh, was it 10 races to the yes. playoffs mm -hmm. start? And uh, a lot can happen between now and then, but uh, uh, either way, uh, uh, glad to be where we're at rather than looking from the outside. What would you need to see next week for, for that event to be a success, for the race to be a success? Uh, I mean, I think there's a number of things you look at. Of course, you, you want the community to want you to be there. Um, but that, that's probably the biggest thing amongst anything that... And that's not just for Chicago, that's for any racetrack. You want a community that wants you there. Um, and uh, that means different things to different people. And I, I guess maybe I should be careful with that. But, you know, you, you want people that come to the racetrack and say it was a once in a lifetime experience. And that you want kids that uh, go there and, and, you know, tell the story to their friends. And you want the social media buzz. And, you know, what you don't want is people that come out and say, hey, you know, these guys shouldn't be here and all those things. So. I think what, what, I, what we're looking for, what I'm looking for, uh, is a community that's engaged and that wants us there and has a good time and that we can deliver a great race for. So what is the line between the crew chiefs are like, oh my gosh, we don't know what's going to happen in Chicago. We got no idea. The driver's kind of the same. But the entertainment factor, I was talking to Steve Newmark, president of RFK Racing, is like, man, this is huge. This is so big. As yeah. a competitor and as a partial team owner, how do you balance the two, you know? Yeah, I mean, the, the great thing is, is we've seen this model with IndyCar and Formula One where you bring the race to the people. Uh, it has its strengths and weaknesses. You know, the strengths is you are in a city in a, or a city center um, and it's, it's easier access for people. And, and uh, you know, there's a community that, that gets, you know, really excited. The difficult part is all the logistical things. You know, how do you how do you execute the race? Not just as a race team, but as an entire sport, and that that can be tedious. And like any other sport, sometimes it works really well, sometimes it doesn't. But I think probably more than anything, I'm, I'm just uh, I'm happy to see NASCAR willing to try new things. I think that's an important thing for our sport: schedule variability. And, and you know, I came into the sport full time in 2010. 
I mean, the schedule had pretty much looked the same for a while. And, and up until 2017, 2018, like, it was the same schedule every year. And that was really unhealthy for us as a sport. Uh, so to see the movement that we have now, uh, I think, is, is really positive. Uh, you know, there's going to be wins. There's going to be losses. There's going to be events that we look at and say, uh, we were, you know, proud of the results and proud of taking the chance. And there's going to be some that we look back and say, ooh, that one didn't work out. Back to the drawing board. And that's okay. Uh, of course, we all hope Chicago is, you know, uh, one of the ones that's a win. Uh, but even if it's not, I, I really don't see how we can lose as an industry as a whole with that mentality of thinking. Will it showcase how good you guys are, or could it showcase the opposite? And you know, <laughs> and, you know something we like try to yeah. show how good you guys are as drivers, which it might yeah. do. Well, the first events at tracks of that nature, and you, you know. Generally, there's a lot of chaos, so I would expect a lot of chaos, and that's not always a bad thing. You know, I look at the first race we had at the Roval, and that was as much chaos as I think you could ever expect. I would, I would expect it to look very similar to that, but uh, I don't know, so I might be wrong. Yeah. You've been in the sport long enough to where you knew what the schedule was, plan it out in your advance. Yeah. And now, Two years, three years sometimes. Yeah, Dustin. And now you're at a point where. In the this is Harrison Burton, driver of the number 21. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out one of these two videos beside me. Visit funstretch.com for more racing content.